oi, 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 oi. Every time the next LeBron James faced off with LeBron James, goddamn, right? Turn, turn. I'm eating my country style breakfast and it helpful. Y'all ain't probably can't even see this shit, goddamn. I ain't finna do too much. Got chicken drumsticks, goddamn. Eggs with hot cheese on that hoe and croissants in this bitch, goddamn. Make sure y'all like, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, drop out a comment, which y'all want to see next, man. Share that friend. Wait, no, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, goddamn. Let's get into it, bro. And I say this now with Ben Simmons. Put up. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're good, bro. Leave me alone. It's extremely unlikely to ever see another prospect like LeBron James. Someone that despite being fresh off high school graduation, when he went first to in 2003, he felt like a guaranteed franchise-altering talent barring injury. Up until that point, high schoolers going straight to the league had a mixed record. For every Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett, there was a Kwame Brown and Darius Miles. But it was very clear we didn't have a Kwame Brown on our hands. Coming out of St. Vincent, St. Mary, he was compared to a slew of legends. Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Kobe Bryant. Comparisons, LeBron welcomed. LeBron, guys. Good on. Four titles, 19 All-Star appearances, four finals MVPs, oh, yeah. an assist title, a scoring title, a net worth of a billion dollars. And with a career that transcended, I'm pretty sure that got more than a billion. LeBron's name <laughs> okay. as a draft prospect. Because while LeBron lived up to those lofty expectations and NBA legend comparisons, that puts quite a bit of pressure on a player, something few are cut out for. But nonetheless, we have seen the comparison come up on a few rare occasions. Surprisingly, the first big time LeBron draft prospect comparison came smack dab in the middle of his prime. It wasn't like LeBron was still learning the ropes in Cleveland with a very poor supporting cast. That might have made sense. After all, in those lean years with Cleveland, he was an all-star, but yet to be an NBA champion. In fact, after a series of playoff exits, he'd yet to convince some he could even lift a team to a title by himself. But going into the 2014 draft, he was a superstar. He produced two titles with Miami alongside Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade and was on the verge of returning to Cleveland after ripping the city's heart out a few years earlier in the decision. He was in the process of going from perhaps the most hated to the most beloved player in the league, if not professional sports. And for the first time in pretty much the history of his career, a prospect was starting to receive his comparison <laughs> from the few bold enough... My father looked like I'm tearing this shit up in the camera for the player, home. Jabari yeah. Parker. Despite what we know today about Jabari Parker's career, some of the ingredients for LeBron comp were there. Like LeBron, Parker was a high school phenom. Well, go far, straight, make your videos and shit. A list you. that includes Jalen Brunson, Derrick Rose, and Kevin Garnett. And in that same year, he became one of just four juniors ever, one of those juniors being LeBron James, to be named Gatorade National Player of the Year. And then came the Sports Illustrated cover. The magazine touted the 17-year-old as the best high school prospect since LeBron. Not only that, but the article would go on to compare Parker's handles to legendary point guard Oscar Robertson, and even one basketball evaluator went on record and said that Parker's basketball IQ was potentially higher than LeBron's was at the same time. I've had the closest person that ever even Parker came close to LeBron ain't even my favorite player, player and all no shit like, like that, fool. So I don't even think it's like on no shit like that. But, uh, oh, and he secured his fourth state championship in four years. They feed him some accolades. The only person that I feel like they ever be compared to Brad. Of some prospect shit and come even Parker close to fucking with whatever he got going on or whatever. He is like Zion Williams. As of recent years, at least. Ain't hey, nobody else talking about it. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Were taken in 2003 and matured into superstars. In fact, ahead of the draft, it was actually Parker who earned more than Melo compared to You got the egg with he fried chicken in the croissant, boy. Not just among Fords, but of all draft prospects. For a moment, there was a real shot that both Parker and LeBron could have been teammates. <laughs> the Cavaliers owned the top pick that summer, and free agent LeBron was widely expected to rejoin the team that drafted him. But ultimately, Parker went second overall to the Milwaukee Bucks after the Cavaliers opted for Wiggins with the top pick. Now, it ended up not even mattering anyways, as a month after LeBron joined the team, the Cavaliers would ship away Wiggins for Timberwolves all-star Kevin Love, a move that put hmm. LeBron and Parker in two vastly different places when they met for the very first time. As on top of Love and LeBron, the Cavaliers also boasted all-star playmaker Kyrie Irving and entered the season as the favorites to come out of the Eastern Conference. The Bucks I mean, they work. <laughs> Obviously, by good thing, LeBron didn't want to play with Andrew Wiggins there. Yeah. hope they could hold on to. In theory, they had an ace four to bring the team to a new era. And coincidentally, possibly the peak of that player's rookie season. So they, they took Kevin Love from goddamn when the, Bucks traveled to Lake the Timberwolves when he was just peaking. Body that of Cleveland. 
The game was a back and well, forth. Well, LeBron was going. Parker played in, nearly uh, 38 minutes. Well, LeBron saw 40. Kyrie Irving was already the it. would go up seven early. The Bucks battled back to take a two-point lead entering halftime. And between Parker and James, the rookie took the first half. <laughs> LeBron, meanwhile, looked like a shell of his usual self. He's still looking for LeBron James with his right shoulder. Steps back deep. Oh, no. Can he get it off the top? No! Pulls up for three. Two shot. Sales soars. LeBron jumps for three. Then in the second, while LeBron and Parker were two nearly identical from the field, LeBron going four for seven and Parker five for seven, LeBron clearly had the upper hand as he tacked on no, six. No, uh, eight, eight already. Leave him alone. The Cavaliers would hold on to win 111 to 108. But all in all, Damn. it was Three one point. of the best games of Parker's okay. rookie season. His 22 points would go on to be his second highest total of the year. It's really a fascinating game to look back on. Parker stepping up against a player he was once compared to as a high school phenom. A game that was setting the stage for an incredible story. Ad. Hey, Goddamn. That ad, ad. My face probably greasy as fuck. Don't get on my ass, fool. I'm hungry. Bring in the holidays at the Brew House. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out in a new Honda. But this story was about to take a huge turn for the worst. Less than two weeks later, Parker would tear his ACL, sidelining him for the rest of his rookie season and for the start of his second year. Uh. His career would just never quite recover. He missed 37% of his games over the next five years, dealing with a variety of injuries. It's really hard to wrap your brain around just how special a Giannis and injuryless yeah, Parker duo could have been in Milwaukee. Yes! He's a center playing like a guard. He's really explosive for his body. Um, things that he can do is unbelievable. Now, even with the injury stopping us from seeing what could have come of Parker's career, it's safe to say the Parker-LeBron comparison was a flop. Frankly, it was starting to feel like no matter who came along, a LeBron James comparison was naturally going to disappoint. So thank goodness folks quit comparing 18-year-olds to LeBron. Right? Well, just hey, one year Omar. after Parker heard his name called by Commissioner Silver, another hotshot youngster was taking scouts by storm. <laughs> Ben I forgot about Ben Simmons, Simmons there. A six foot ten point guard out of Australia. Someone that had all the tools. The vision. They were the comparing Blair to, uh, to uh, I mean Brad uh, uh, LeBron James. Truly transcendent superstar. Akin to, yes, LeBron James. LeBron James co-signed his ad. Ben Simmons having a legit chance to overtake LeBron. Y'all here, Pluto, and Pluto, be quiet. I look at the NBA, which I've watched for four decades. And I say this. You're acting like a human in shit. Hey, LeBron. Good, bro. You, you can go. You don't have to. You can hang around. Still great, but you can go. We're all good here. Coming out of LSU, we really only heard two oh, yeah, that nigga deep. LeBron oh, crown. and Magic Johnson. He's going to be in so many deep, Henry. Johnson was the well, I bet that age to well. <laughs> Simmons was the wire-to-wire -wire favorite to go first overall in 2016. Even after a somewhat disappointing season with LSU, that saw the team come into the year ranked 21st in the country, but by March, they were on the outside looking in on the tournament. Now ahead of the draft, LeBron played a good sport about the comparison. He told ESPN in December that he didn't mind the comparisons. Someone's gonna be compared to someone all the time, and I don't mind him being compared to me. The first pick in the 2016 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Ben Simmons. Ben Shittin. <laughs> they now had both Joel Embiid and Simmons on the roster after years of rebuilding through the process. Unfortunately, Sixers fans would have to wait a little bit longer to see their franchise savior take the court. Simmons suffered I don't need to be getting in before they even ever get season. to play. That should be even crazy. Even Simmons' foot rehab, the LeBron James connection remained strong. Yet another Sports Illustrated feature, this one about Simmons' long journey and the end of the process in Philadelphia, included a statement from LeBron saying, you have an opportunity to be better than me but you can't skip steps you have to do with the work a statement that would prove to be wiser than he could have ever imagined the two would finally get a chance to meet for the very first time on november 27th 2017 roughly 20 games into the regular season and for most of the first quarter the sixers kept things close with the Cavs. they were exchanging blows a tough drive by lebron a nice fade away from mb but it was LeBron's dominance well, that I know, the start of the game. There's James again. The bump and run with Simmons. They got two history. Uh, nicely delivered by James. Shooting the three bird. James rather healthy. 
18 points in the first quarter, accounting for over half of the entire Cavs total to that point. He would also already hauled in seven rebounds. Ben Simmons, meanwhile, was awfully quiet to begin his debut versus LeBron. By the end of the quarter, he had half as many turnovers as points, of which he had four. In the second quarter, LeBron continued chugging along, adding seven more points to his total, including this fadeaway. Simmons added just two more. Quarter three marks the low point of the game for both Simmons and LeBron. The two combined for just four points, with all of them coming from James. Instead, it was the Joel Embiid show. The future MVP put up 16 in the third quarter. Then in the fourth, for the first time all game, Simmons managed not to finish a quarter trailing LeBron's point total. They both accounted for four apiece. The final result, <laughs> a blowout for the Cavaliers, 113-91. to 91. The final tally portrayed a typical dominant performance. Yeah, I think that nigga was nervous. 30 point, 14 rebound, double-double. Simmons, meanwhile, finished with a stat line that had become all too familiar. 10 points, 8 rebounds, and failing to even attempt a 3. Now, surprisingly, he's actually only lost one more game against him in his entire career to this point. A 105-98 defeat just a few weeks later. Simmons would win both the matchups in 2018, and since LeBron went to Los Angeles, yeah. he's gone winless in his three games against Simmons. But though Simmons' teams have performed well against LeBron, the player himself I'd be cooking up has not. Oh, I need to start Kings a restaurant. Over 30 oh, points against Simmons, who's putting up only 17 a game. Pretty solid compared to the player we know today, but obviously not in comparison to LeBron. Now, as far as the expected career of grandeur and transcendence, we're still waiting for it, and all signs point to that waiting period lasting for eternity. After a woeful playoff appearance against the Hawks in 2021, Simmons was traded to Brooklyn after refusing to return to the Sixers the following season. Since arriving there, it hasn't been pretty. LeBron might have seen greatness in Simmons, but the latter decided to skip steps and simply refused to put in the work. Now, since Simmons, no one has quite earned the LeBron label ever again, and for good reason. There won't be any player who's exactly like him, no matter how talented. But though the LeBron player comparisons have basically vanished, there's still another form of comparison used that invokes a four-time champion. Hype. Just as LeBron was hyped as the greatest prospect since Magic and Kareem, several players since his entrance into the league have garnered similar excitement. One of the most notable of those is Zion Williamson, the explosive big man out of Duke, who burst onto the scene with a handful of mind-boggling high school dunks. But even Zion's hype probably pales in comparison to the Victor Wimbenyama hype train. Viewed by most as the greatest talent to enter the league since LeBron, oh! some going as far to say the greatest prospect in the history of this sport. It's hard to find the right words to describe the league's Man, Victor Wimbenyama y'all right gonna be way better than LeBron, ass, bro. Be worth it. I don't even know why y'all bought this nigga name up in the same scenery, fool. And only about a third of his total games for New Orleans over his first four seasons. But one thing they share in common, the only LeBron comparison that might be justified is unrivaled excitement. So at least in some capacity, the story of LeBron versus the next LeBron isn't over just yet. Mm. Crazy, fool.